Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tag video and I am doing the five products that I regret purchasing. So if you want to know what the five items that I wish I had never bought, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting in no particular order. Um, funny thing though, actually, um, all the products that I have, the five that I have chosen that I regret purchasing, they're actually all like from the drugstores. Um, and the really weird thing is, is that majority of these are Revlon products, <clears throat> which I think is so weird because I am a huge fan of Revlon. It's really odd, but maybe that's why I kind of regret buying it because I have such higher standards for it. Maybe, I don't know. But let me get started. The first one that I have that I wish I had never purchased was the Revlon Colorstay Mineral Foundation. Um, I love the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Foundation, obviously, since the bottle's gone. Um, but, so when I was at the store, I saw this on sale. It's like usually like 14 I think it was on sale for like 10 or 9 or something like that. And so I thought, oh my gosh, this is probably so great because it's the Colorstay and it's the mineral powder. So I thought this was going to be a great product. And immediately, I was really disappointed with it because when I opened it up, oops, got a lot of product on the brush. Um, you'll see it looks like this. So you screw off the cap like that, and it looks like this. This is where the brush is, obviously. And I thought, what the heck? Like, that is the smallest brush. It has product all over it. Um, so I'm like, how the heck does that work? But then I finally figured out that you twist this little knob here, and it kind of, like, adjusts the pushes the brush out more. So this is the brush and it's so tiny. It's not soft at all. It's not a good brush, but that's the only way really to get the product out because like deep in there is where the product comes out. And then you swirl it and buff it on your skin. I don't like it at all. Another bad thing is is that the color selection, it's not by like, you know, how, you know, the liquid foundations it's like 290. This is warm golden. There's like beige, nude, all those different kinds, but these just come in light, medium, and dark. I mean, come on, seriously? So I got light, medium, because I was like, I don't know. And it doesn't do anything for my skin, so, I mean, it absolutely does nothing. So I don't like this at all. I really wish I didn't purchase it, and um, I don't know, it was a waste of money. I'm really not happy with it, so don't purchase they don't recommend it uh, the next item that I regret purchasing is the Alme bright eyes it's an eye base and concealer and it looks like this um, and it's like a plastic tube it, it's really like squishy so all the products in this tube and then it has the brush tip so you know how there's like lip glosses like that well this is how it is for this so you squeeze it and it pushes the product out on the brush which I don't want to get it all out on the brush right now but um really don't like this product I can't remember how much it was whatever it was is too much because I wish I had never bought it um I thought this was going to be really great because on the packaging um that it came in it, it said that it makes your I mean takes away the puffiness of your eyes it brightens your eyes and I thought oh my gosh that's perfect because I have work really early in the morning or you know on those days that you stay out too late and you have to you know start all over again early in the morning the next day so I thought that would be perfect well this is not good um I don't even know what shade this is in I think this is another one of those things where oh it's in light medium so maybe I got the wrong color, but one of the main things that I really don't like about this is it comes out like yellow on my skin. So when I put it on like under my eyes, for instance, it makes me look sick because I have like yellow tint under my eye and it looks crazy. Um, it doesn't blend that well. And um, as far as concealer goes, or I'm sorry, an eye base, because it says that you can use it for like a base for your eyeshadow and a concealer. I've never honestly tried it as an eyeshadow base because I used it, I bought it for the purpose of a concealer, but I really don't like it. 
Um, and I'm really not fond of, I mean, even for lip glosses, the whole like squeezing the tube and having the product come out. I think it kind of smells weird too. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this. So don't recommend the Almay Bright Eyes um, Eye Base and Concealer. It's not a great product. Okay, another product, this one is also by Revlon. I regret buying is the Revlon Brow Fantasy and it's the one that has like the step one is the crayon and step two is the eyeshadow or the eyebrow gel and I got the dark blonde color because here's the thing is from dark blonde to brown there's a huge difference it's either this really light gray brown color or dark brown like an eyeliner color and so I thought that dark brown is way too dark for it'll just make my eyebrows like really you know like really uh, like really dark like almost black looking but this is too light and it makes it look so weird like I tried it because I, I kind of have like really sparse hairs right in the um, front part here so that's what I had purchased this for and just to kind of fill them in a little bit and make them look nicely groomed and everything. Um, but this is the main problem is this pencil. I'm drawing it. Like, that's what the color looks like. And it's nothing like my eyebrow color. It doesn't blend it at all. So when I put it in, like, you can totally see it's like this yellowish brown color. It looks like crap on my hand. That looks sick. Um, so that was uh, a total disappointment. And then the gel, the gel is okay. It comes on this little, like, small bristle. Um, if anything, I'll just use the gel for this just to get some use out of it. But again, I think this one was, like, $10, too. And so I'm like, that sucks because I could have totally bought something else with it. Um, because I'm always trying, like, I really don't do much to my eyebrows besides, like, pluck it and stuff. I don't fill them in. I don't really do anything to them. So sometimes I want to get that really nice defined eyebrow and so I thought I'd be doing myself a favor by purchasing this and now I really wish I did. Next product I regret buying is the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Liner. Um, I heard great and fantastic things about this product so that's why I went out and purchased it. Um, but here's the thing with eyeliners is you really have to kind of try around to see what works best for you. So. Um, I really don't like pencil liners that much. Um, well, for one thing, I wasn't going to, you know, cash out the money for really high-end products that are really good quality eyeliners because I was like, I don't have the money to go through eyeliner like for that much, you know. So that's why. And then the eyeliners at, you know, at the drugstores. I mean, I'm sure there's good ones, pencil liners and stuff, but I'm just not a huge fan of using them. So. I wanted to try the liquid liner because I heard so many great things about it. I wanted to try out to do um, like a cat eye and do a winged eyeliner and stuff like that and it's kind of hard to do with a pencil liner. So I heard all about this and how great the felt tip is, how nice and easy it is to apply. But here's the thing with this product. First of all, with, with my personal experience, this is just my opinion. Um, I had a really, really hard time um, applying this liquid liner, and maybe it was because of inexperience. Now I have a little bit more practice with doing like a winged liner or a cat eye look, um, but I was really having a hard time with the application of this. Um, another huge problem I had with this is that because it's liquid, it's um, it it takes a little bit to dry. So what I had the huge problem of was with this product is I'd apply it and of course I'd mess up or whatever, but whatever, I couldn't smear it, so i just kind of try to fix it, and then I would get my curl, um, eyelash curler, my mascara, and I would start doing my thing. Well, then I would look up in the mirror and I found that I had a whole like trace line of uh, eyeliner on my lid because I kind of have like droopy lids a little bit because the eyeliner wasn't dry so it was so frustrating and to top it off 
because this is Revlon Color Stay, the Color Stay, it sticks on there for like 16 hours. So when this stuff goes on your skin, it's so hard to get off. So imagine that. It's like getting mascara on your eyelid, but like 10 million times worse. So it was a pain in the butt. I really don't like it. This thing is like, I mean, I hardly used any of this because I had such a hard time with it. So I found that gel liner works best for me, but I really did not like this product. Last product that I have that I wish I never got was um, this hair product. It's called um, Diamond Shine. And this was advertised at Sally's Beauty Supply. And I was really looking for um, like great hair products that I really wanted my hair to be shiny and strong and healthy. So I had seen um, this like advertised all over the store. It's the brand is Diamond Shine. And so what this is is a Shine Boost Rinse Out Glaze. And it says two times more strength and shine. And it was, um, oh, the little tag washed off. I think it was like $5, $6, something like that. So I thought I'll give it a try. It's going to be good, right? Two times more shine, more strength. That's exactly what I was looking for. Um, it says it has real diamond micro particles. Um, it's supposed to give you a high gloss look, all this stuff. So what I found after using this, I tried this several times. Um, what it says is you shampoo and conditioner as usual, <coughs> and then you apply this afterwards. And you let it sit in your hair for about three to five minutes. Use it one to three times a week. And so I had done that. I shampooed, conditioned, and then I put, put this in my hair, shaved my legs for like three minutes or five minutes, whatever. And then I washed this out. And immediately, you know when you have a good product in your hair because you can feel how soft your hair feels, how like your hair gets totally untangly when you're washing it out. You can just instantly feel the difference. But as soon as I put like started washing this out of my hair, I could totally tell that this was awful. My hair was all tangly. It didn't feel smooth. It didn't feel silky, you know, when you get that feeling. So I really, I mean, it made my hair really dry, really dry on the ends especially and crispy. It didn't smooth it out. It didn't make it shiny at all. I absolutely hated it. So then I tried it as um, my conditioner still didn't do it. So I don't know what this product's problem is, but it does not deliver what it says it does. So those are my five products that I really wish I never bought and totally would have purchased something else in replace of that. But oh well, you gotta make mistakes sometimes. So I hope you guys didn't make the same um, bad choices in makeup. So hopefully you guys um, see this and Maybe keep that in mind next time you go shopping. So I thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to do this video, please leave a response below and do one yourself. And I will see you guys again soon. Have a good day. Bye.